That right there is this brand new dash cam. This is a 4K front and rear camera with GPS and driving assist, the whole bit, two cameras. This is gonna be the focus of today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this here model. This is made by Rexing. This is a V3. It's a version 3. It's the newest front and rear 4K day and night camera that has the ADAS driving software, Wi-Fi compatibility, recording, motion, the whole bit. This thing is pretty, pretty cool. And this here is my existing camera. I just want to show you the difference. So this one here that I'm going to be reviewing, you see it's got all the layout for the buttons, kind of like how this one here does. But you'll notice that this one here has one camera here, one camera here. So it's front and rear at the same time. So if you're like a Uber driver or one of these Lyft types guys or a taxi cab guy, um, well, who the heck knows? I mean, maybe even I'll be just using this thing for YouTube while I'm driving down the road and chattering mindlessly like I do. Maybe I'll use this for me, I don't, I don't know. But you could see, I mean, this thing is just really super compared to what I have here now. And this thing is not by any means an inexpensive or a a low budget type of system. This one here has motion, GPS, uh, Wi-Fi compatibility, nice HD camera. I mean, this thing is pretty nice. It's serving pretty well and I've been very happy with it. But this thing here, I'm really super excited to see what this thing can do because this thing is apparently a stiff upgrade. Just look at the screen, look at the layout. I mean, it just, I mean, you can even smell the quality coming off of this thing. This thing is legit. I like this. All right, so this here, it also was, it was over here before, my old camera, it was actually like this, it was over there and I had to have it down here because the camera was over there and you got this date dot matrix and it just it doesn't stick to this crap. So I don't want it up here in my, in my field of vision so I had it over there. The good thing now is that this thing's got this really wide screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, place it right up in here because I got my front camera here which I can record inside the vehicle, then I got my camera out front which Turn my outside camera right there, which is going to pick up on motion, day, night, accident recording, driving safety alerts, the whole bit, 24-7, that's working. And then I got my main camera on here. I'm going to turn to the inside cabinet so I can, like I said, I can sit here and watch myself and entertain myself. i uh, see what's going on here. So this is really good for like a Lyft driver, a Uber driver, taxi driver, or whatever. That kind of deal. It's actually pretty cool. And it's got a Sony camera, so I know it's going to look good at daytime, it's going to look at nighttime. You get the IR sensors, all the buttons laid out right here. And the right angle cable, which is super good, because you can take it and run that right underneath the headliner material, so it looks nice and clean when I'm done installing it. Because once you start collecting these things, like I seem to be doing, it really helps. So I put on this 3M adhesive that they give you. They give you two of these, by the way. Two of these mounting plates and two of these 3M adhesive dealies. I think the hardest part is getting the dang old tape thing off of there. I think that's the hardest part of this whole installation, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this key on for the first time. And you can see there's my other unit for my camera. And there you go. I can see what's going on with my new... This thing is nice. I like this thing. When you smile, when you turn it on, you know that you like it. I, I like that. <laughs> I do I like this. I know I'm going to like this. So I got all that unit right there. Nice big 2.7 inch widescreen. All my buttons are laid out here. I got an inside cab camera which is insane. 4K. I got a front. I got a rear. I mean this thing is just amazing. The old camera just... Since I'm excited let me just go crazy with it. This one here was my old camera and it had this hideous looking GPS module which you had to use to slide into this thing. Kind of like this right and then it was just bulky and you only had one camera it was a small screen it was very limited in, in functionality this thing is just like ta -da. I mean this thing is like nice this is a stiff upgrade for me here is the dash cam mounted up high by my headliner there my window you can see this here is my camera which faces inward see when I put my finger on it the night uh, infrared LEDs pop on and then there's my widescreen that for my front camera, and I can switch the view, change my settings. There's my right angle charger, which runs up, and I have that hardwired hard down underneath the dashboard. 
and the settings are really easy to use. You can change the screen to on, off. Oh, we got a customer walking by there. You could do this, the picture in picture. Really nice little screen, I like it. Lots of settings. So a few other things I really like about this unit. It tells you right here how much memory you have left on the card. If you have Wi-Fi, so if you're using the app, it tells you right there on the screen. Um, your camera is all nice. It's not too annoying with a lot of the beeps that a lot of these units with the uh, driving assistance is built in. It gives you like visual confirmations for green lights for if you're in the lane, if you're traveling too far to the right. If you um, kind of like hit the brakes too abruptly, it'll give you like a little red icon and, and issue a chirp, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's got a lot of little icons on there, which if you don't really pay attention to, you never really know what the heck they're doing. But once you start to get intimate in using this unit, the more you learn about it, the more easier it becomes to use, if that makes sense. Because a lot of the times you get something and the more complicated it is, the more complicated it is.